Last night's thunderstorms left thousands without power and damaged several county roads. The torrential rain also flooded fields, leaving a giant mess in its wake. The two hardest hit Hazard and Ballard roads in North Spokane County. The damage so extensive that the roads could be closed for up to a week as crews race to repair them. KXY 4's Alex LaFree joins us now live. And Alex, this is a major undertaking. That's right, Nadine. Emergency crews may have been on high alert last night, but today it's the job of the Spokane County Public Works Department to pick up all those broken pieces and put them back together. From rocky roads to flooded fields, last night's thunderstorm left a legacy that county road crews now have to endure. We had some severe uh, damage that occurred uh, on several of our roads. The worst of it was on West Ballard and Hazard Roads. They're closed until further notice, but that doesn't mean other areas weren't affected. There are approximately seven to eight uh, additional roads that will need a, a varying degree of, uh, of work. Uh, anything from clearing debris to uh, shouldering up and stabilizing uh, the sides of the roads. Bob Keneally with Spokane County Public Works says they're now working overtime to get them fixed, but it could take up to a week before they reopen. We're combining our crews right now uh, in, the, in the districts and we're throwing all the manpower and equipment we can to these roads uh, that need attention. The cleanup isn't easy or cheap. Keneally estimates the damage at $200,000, but says that number could easily go up. And unlike snow emergencies, there's no special fund when Mother Nature comes calling in the spring. That comes right out of our budget. So the money we put into preservation, uh, uh, you know, whether that's chip sealing a road or overlays, um, that comes right out of the budget, and we have to, we have to shift the, the money around accordingly. We'll, of course, continue to keep you updated as these roads reopen. And if you're driving in these areas, they ask that you use extreme caution and watch for crews and their equipment. Reporting live in North Spokane County, Alex LaFreese, KXLY4 News.